We're doing a full manifold. That, that is a 1D bend though, so... The position of the turbo is not very critical, as long as it's in the ballpark. So that, if, so basically if we cut a 90 degree off that, that is what we're going to end up with. But then you're going to throw all your primaries out towards your firewall. If you imagine we cut that there and there, well actually no. When you don't have a lathe, you improvise. So as you can see, the manifold is coming together. Collector is done. This sort of turbo thing is done. Next would be weld this to this fully. So then this is a first runner attached to the manifold. So it's almost like becoming a jig. And then it will literally be just trivial just to connect the dots from this to this, this to this, this to this. Um, should not be too difficult. And then once that is done, I'll be able to cut the tube for Westgate priority. So it goes like this and then Westgate comes off straight. <sighs> Would you look at that all tucked up and all sort of put together by the one and only geese fab yeah you meant to be doing this well i meant, meant to be watching yeah but you're hands-on kind of guy you you, you know it's, hey i'm doing the welding you're just sort of doing the the hard measuring stuff anyways i think it looks spot on and before you start commenting oh it's not equal length I don't want it equal length. I want it as light as possible. So the least material we can use, the better. I know it's not perfect, but it's not NA, so it's turbo. So it's less important to have them equal length. So it's not an oversight, it's on purpose. I told you them. Plus we'll, 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 yeah. plus we'll get a really nice aggressive exhaust note with this. Yeah, yeah. Almost like a Subaru, probably not. Uh, we could have made it sound like a Subaru, but right yeah. now. Well, anyway, so now gonna go and fit it to the car, see how it fits. We know it fits, obviously. And then um, see if we can um, get the dimensions and sizes for the, for the gate to go in there. And then Eden is gonna go home, La La Land, and I'm gonna stay here and weld this puppy out. So this is how it looks inside the car. Yep, love it. Perfect. I mean, look at all this space. Um, I always complained on that the previous manifold that I made. I don't know if you've seen the video. It didn't actually even fit inside the engine bay. I had to severely modify the firewall and make this sort of indentation because I built it before I had the car. With anyways, this one look. There's so much extra space everywhere. And it's just such a simple design and again lightweight we wanted as little material as possible that's why this run is shorter this one is a bit longer and admittedly and i did say to eden this could have been made 
as a 45 but this way it's probably stronger because a bit more leverage and press for time and this is less joints so it's actually stronger so that would probably be the only thing that you know i would say but other than that spot on so now take it all apart Counter counterintuitive isn't it um but yeah you have to take your manifold apart the reason being is that on most manifolds it would be virtually impossible to reach the tube all the way around to weld it properly so that's why you tack it all in place you put it onto the car you check it for fitment and everything and then you take it off each runner you weld it separately and then on the final one you weld it onto your flange and onto your merge collector um yeah so that's my next job for the next uh, three hours while eden goes and well he's not gonna go to sleep he's drinking another energy drink jesus christ trying to dry and drown out the tooth pain tooth pain yeah he's in a bit of a pain today so what do you think of the color scheme i like it it screens nuclear yeah I'm actually a bit disappointed because this is supposed to be Haltech colors and I've sort of picked That's it. Not Haltech, but now I'm looking at the Haltech thing. This is not Haltech color. But Haltech have actually got their color code on the website. I know, that's what I've been going from. It's not a bad color. It, it, I know, it, 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 it's it, wonderful. It's it almost. Goes well with the yeah, it's almost toxic, but this was supposed to be. I've, I've been picking and, you know, it's supposed to be raw color as close to whatever they, um, they, they put on the thing. Well, whatever makes the paint is fucking blind. Probably. Or can't count. Yeah, I mean it's a lovely color. It's, it's really lovely. sort of it's it's a it's, nice bright it's, it's, it's bright a happy yellow. Mistake. It's a happy mistake. I'm definitely happy. But yeah, like I was saying, the combo this sort of this gray and it's not really gray, isn't it? It it's it has this kind of brownish tint to it. That's why it's not. It's, it's really like, yeah. yeah. Anyways, I'll show you once this is all welded. o'clock in the morning well 20 to 3 and I'm done it was really enjoyable really enjoyable I don't know why but Eden's setup here just works so much better than my setup I've tried my absolute best not to overheat the flange and as you can see there's almost no sort of discoloring so I've been sort of cooling it with air and obviously we have a nice heat sink and you know i've been taking taking my time some of the wells it was so difficult to reach but you know what i'm really really happy really happy how it's turned out and you know well obviously now it's with a with a heat sink but it's noticeably lighter than my previous one that was done out of schedule 10. so it's good the manifold has been done today which is what i was hoping for and then tomorrow i'll show you how we do the rest of the exhaust system so yeah for you it's going to be one second for me it's going to be one whole night of sleeping the next morning mm, morning was this all a dream <sighs> No, still there.
Well, another day, another exciting, another exciting day. Let's finish this. Well, the master is back at work, finishing up what I didn't do. So now every single runner needs to be obviously welded on the inside, on the flange. And because the manifold was, everything was super hot and it was three o'clock in the morning, I decided to just leave it, let it cool so we can do it in the morning. And apparently I've done it slightly in the wrong order. This was supposed to be done first before welding it around the flange. And I did it other way around, around the flange and now the inside. But also it doesn't really matter that much. It would still be exactly the same. It's just this is the preferred way of doing it. So now this is going to be done. Next thing is a Westgate. This looks perfect. There was almost no warpage, was there? No, very there's little. There's, there's a little high spot here, but it's not in the gasket. Yeah, well, yeah. It's, it's outside of the gasket crush. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, but with the time frame we've got, this is the best we're going to get. It's perfect. It's perfect. I mean, it's much better than my previous one and also saves me um, flattening something on a sandpaper at home with yeah, the uh, weight bag. You weird... Uh, Contraption. <laughs> Contraption I've only ever seen on Pornhub. Well, that's where I got the inspiration. <laughs> the power of 3D printing. While I was asleep in my comfortable bed, Eden's been working all night to create this marvel of uh, um, hillbilly engineering. <laughs> um, this is basically a little jig that you use some um, rods. So you can make a really nice neat. I mean, obviously those things um, can be bought. I'm not sure whether for this size. I mean, I would assume you can probably find them. Tube but place called Tube Master sell them like proper commercial. Ones. Yeah, but as a quick. But like 12 times the price of what I charge for them. Yeah. So this thing takes this and then you sort of put it like this and then you get something out of it and then you cut. So. If only 3D printer could print this with metal rods already inside. Yeah, that'd be nice. It's a new, new age technology. Well, saying that, 3D printing technology now is so kind of advanced. Well, they've been advanced for a while. So if you had the money, if you're, you know, a proper crypto king or you won a lottery, you could actually print the whole manifold from Inconel. No, not Inconel. It's... Um, what do they use for printing stuff? No, no, ink canal. It's ink canal, yeah. Uh, Papa, Papa Dakis Racing. Yeah. They 3D printed the uh, turbo manifolds for the Ryan Turb car. Yeah. I mean, that's crazy, isn't it? Crazy money, I bet. Probably the whole budget of my budget build. Well, the machine loan, a budget machine loan is 120,000 pounds. Yeah. So the manifold is on with the Gara Turbo, GFB Westgate is on, so that side of things is all done. So 
And now <coughs> we need a downpipe that goes from the turbo into this sort of middle channel. And as you can see, you can almost see it. So it's, it's a pretty much straight, straight line from there down to this channel. I did notch the subframe. So we have all this real estate to work with. We have all the components. Then a three inch will go right down here. And in here we have, again, all the space we need. And those things, those things will be sitting in here. This is my little diagram I drew. So let's get to it. Yeah, I mean, we wanted to trim this down a bit, but I think if we get the next bend sorted, then we can take this off, we can trim this down to then get it so it the tunnel. Yeah. That's roughly where we want to be. Yep. Because this, this is going to be hard, but the rest is going to be the easy bit. Yeah. I made a bit of a mistake when I ordered tubes from Vibrant in 3 to 1 stainless. I only ordered 190. So we might have to mix and match with uh, the normal sort of stainless which was meant for the further part of the exhaust. But in theory it should work because 3221 obviously is the hottest at the beginning of the turbo, just after the turbo. So that's where the 321 is going to go. Everything under the car, that's where all the other stuff is. So. Pretty happy with the position. That's how it's gonna come out. A little clocky small bend and uh, very sort of nice low angle kind of uh, downpipe without many. Well, there's only one kind of, it's not even a 90, it's less of a 90, isn't it? It's more of a 70 degree, right? The yeah, second it's bend. 70 degrees, get the, get the compound angle. Yeah, so it's a 45, 70, and then barely at 20 maybe 25 degree angle so very nice smooth flow and transition and also look at that i'm not sponsored by artec but he is and mobile welding workstation come in handy even it's though we are in a workshop like but it's like boom to save time instead of constantly taking it on and off and taking it to the bench boom you know tig 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 yeah tig tig yeah tig 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 yeah tig yeah hi Personally, what do you think? Are you one of those people who think it's shit? Or are you just like, yeah? A very unorthodox placement of the can. Tried and tested by me. Done it before, works beautifully. So, yeah, for those of you who are wondering, are you gonna have a cat? Yes, you're supposed to have a cat, and we're having a cat. Don't roll inside the box, because you get all the idiots swinging up there. Watch and learn. Probably watch and learn from here. I'm just an apprentice here, which is fine, which is fine. long series of welds but I think Ruskin is definitely definitely getting better at this TIG welding malark look at it yeah do you know what yeah I'm better
So it looks like we almost have the exhaust complete. So now all is left is hangers and Eden is bending some tubes. So we're gonna use this old uh, fuel tank um, mounting point. So there will be a little plate, little sort of hanger with the thing. And then we're gonna fashion something on this side next to the cap. And then we have a three inch tube running all the way down. We have a flexi pipe we have a lambda boss in here and then it goes into a down pipe and then all is left is a little flexi for the westgate uh, sort of dump dump tube um, i did mention before that this was supposed to be a double sort of exhaust with another silencer but eden the legend that he is, said you're saving weight man this is going to be quiet enough kind of trust him on this one uh, i mean it's a big silencer this is 18 inch long eight inch in diameter and the the, the 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 tube on the inside is actually at the diagonal so it should be fairly quiet also have a cat and good thing is that we have a straight piece of pipe so in the worst case scenario you can always just put another resonator in between ah yes I'm on it, boss. These are, these are the, the, that 12 more bar. That's a 12 more bar. Okay, well, I do you know that. <laughs> Luckily, we found one 10 mil. Hey, but it's black. It's a bit racist. Well. You know, it's just tighter. What's what's from the what's from the black? Nothing. It's tighter. You insisted you wanted black. Because like red was a bit loose, like uh, lucky like brown, hot chocolate. <laughs> Tech tips from Kisfab. So what is this you're spraying on the bushes, Eden? Brake cleaner. Why, Eden? Spray it in your your tight hole. And that means you can get your nice tight rod in there. So you see, it goes on there nice and easy. She likes it like that. And then give it, give it a couple of minutes. It evaporates. That's fantastic, Eden. It is. Follow, follow me for more tips. There you have it, folks. Twelve o'clock midnight. Anyways, I think it's a wrap. I mean. I don't think how I'm gonna thank you. I mean, the only thing I can bend over um, twice per week for the rest of my life. I mean, honestly, um, not only let me use this amazing Gizfab workshop, but it actually did most of the work fitting everything together. So effectively, all I did was just a bit of welding practice. Anyways, yeah, Gizfab. So go follow him, please. Just, 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 you know, so he doesn't feel like, you know, he's done it for nothing. So yeah, follow him, Gizfab, Instagram, YouTube. Guy is amazing. Anyways, I think it's a wrap. Exhaust manifold with a turbo Westgate, all the sort of downpipes, full exhaust system. Everything is done. Um, could not be happier, obviously. We were under extreme short time frames. So, I mean, of course, you, you're not going to get underneath. I mean, to you on the picture, it looks shiny. But usually, Eden says something like this would take over three, four days. So, obviously, everything would be polished a bit more and, you know, you would take. But, you know, time constraints plus a race car. And it has been built to sort of a good, strong race pack, right? It will be good spec. It's yeah, just, it, it, it's just we, we, we skip some steps like easy with polish all the pipe and stuff. Yeah. And obviously, because you know, time is of the essence, we've yeah. just skipped the polishing stage. So, who cares? I mean, it's going to be sort of covered, yeah. wrapped, and stuff like that. But strength wise, and sort of design flow wise, and how it's going to perform, that was sort of spot on. We kind of made what sure that it's all escape priority. From yeah, ball. yeah, that, that's what means by Westgate priority where your Westgate is not off your collector kind of on the side this is basically all the floor wants to go to the Westgate and then it goes to the turbo this way you can dump all of your pressure and control it a lot better with this setup and it's of course uh, recirc recirculated back into the system through the downpipe um, 
everything is sort of modular and really easily sort of uh, taken apart so and it's shiny you know what because i did polish it yesterday when i was welding it a bit so it's it's nice and shiny so it's it's almost a show car quality um yeah 12 o'clock second day sunday so well, time to well, te technically it's actually just gone midnight so technically it's now monday so we are monday hey so it's a three-day job so yeah what were you complaining you said three days that's been three days well, um, no, we've done well considering well yeah. my, my fucking tooth abscess yeah which has stopped me a bit but you are on a lot of medication but yeah i'm a bit Stupid. You're heavily medicated, heavily medicated. I mean, need to be when a Russian is around, you know, it's just, yeah. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll leave you on this one. Exhaust on the fastest one is done. I have no idea what's coming next or what video you're going to see next, but we have officially five, maybe six days before it has to be at Cadwell. So now plumbing and electrical side of things with ECU. Still have no idea who is going to map it, um, but just fingers crossed. Thank you from me and Gizfab. Don't forget to follow this man. All the links in the description and everything, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.